Hey guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. My name is Uma. Uh, so I've just bought the uh, Google Pixel 2 XL um, and I've just upgraded from the Samsung S8 Plus. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you, after using my Google Pixel for about five days, uh, I'm going to be showing you all of the things that I missed from my Samsung S8 Plus um, that the Samsung could do, which the Google Pixel can't do. Um, so there's a, a quite a long list, so hopefully um, you guys have experienced uh, similar things to what I'm uh, about to show you as well um, but at the end I'm going to give you a judgment on if the Pixel 2 was actually worth upgrading to from the Samsung S8 um, overall um, so let's have a run through some of the points and um, see how they look There is a lot of things that I miss uh, on the uh, Samsung S8 Plus. So I'm just gonna go through and give you a quick run through on all of the uh, features um, that I sort of uh, uh, regret uh, upgrading for. First one uh, is the Edge apps. Um, so I use this all the time um, and this is just a quick way for me to access a lot of my apps, um, which I use pretty much daily. So it's a shame that um, I don't have the edge screen uh, like I did on the S8 uh, for the Google phone anymore. Second one, um, I do a lot of running. Um, the, the S8 comes with a heart rate sensor uh, on the back. So I can just hold my uh, finger over the uh, flash and it will tell me the heart rate. Uh, the next one is face unlock. Um, so. I have set the phone to unlock uh, using my face. Um, now I know Google Pixel doesn't have that, um, but it's something that uh, I've started to use a little bit more. Um, so if I give you an example, um, it's on the lock screen, so I'm just gonna point it to my face now. And there you go, it's unlocked. Now, uh, the next one is the edge lighting. Um, so when your phone is down flat, um, is one of uh, Samsung's um, uh, peak features that they uh, uh, outlined uh, when they first released the phone. When someone is calling you or messages you, the outside edges uh, of the phone, uh, they light up a specific color. Another thing is the uh, S8 has the uh, headphone jack. Um, now, I know the Google Pixel uh, does not have the headphone jack anymore. Um, I do use wired headphones um, quite a bit, so I do miss that. Um, even though it does come with an adapter, it is a little bit fiddly. The other thing is uh, wireless charging. Uh, Samsung S8 uh, does have a compatibility with wireless charging. The Pixel doesn't, unfortunately. Um, I do have a wireless charger that I keep with me at work, um, but that wasn't uh, able to be used now that I have the Pixel. Uh, one other thing, on the lock screen, uh, for the Samsung S8, uh, when I have always on display, uh, if I just quickly turn that on. Now with always on display, you can see just underneath there, I have the uh, battery percentage. Uh, so it's on 77% at the moment. Um, now, for some reason, the Google Pixel uh, does not display the battery percentage on the lock screens. Uh, I'm not sure why. Um, but it's, it's a limitation by Google. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't found a workaround just yet for that, um, but that's something that's very useful and it's, it's just a standard feature. I'm not sure why um, they haven't included that. Next thing, um, if I get a missed call um, or a text message that I haven't seen yet uh, on, on the SA Plus, if my phone is down, uh, when I go to pick it up, I get a haptic feedback. And uh, what that does is it slightly vibrates the phone uh, once you've picked it up to let you know that you've actually missed something. Um, so whether that's a call or a text, uh, that's pretty useful. Um, I know Samsung are really good at um, adding little unique features like that, but unfortunately the Google Pixel didn't have that. Um, in terms of the, the UI, I found it a little bit easier to uninstall apps um, using the Samsung uh, UI here. So. Uh, if, for example, I wanted to get rid of uh, an app I uh, installed, so I would uh, just press for one second and the menu pops up with uh, an uninstall option. Uh, you can do that straight away from there. Whereas on the Pixel, if I do that here, if I just go hold down, I don't have the uninstall option. 
Um, the other way to do it, I guess I have to um, go into the app, uh, app drawer, uh, find an app that I've downloaded, for example, drag it up and put it into the uninstall bin there. Now, um, one other app that I used to use was to view my uh, gallery, so all my photos uh, and videos, um, using an app called QuickPick. So on the on the Samsung, I have QuickPick here. It's just easy to browse. It's very straightforward and it's super fast. Now I can get QuickPick on the Google Pixel, um, and I found out that. Um, there's a limitation for some reason with the Pixel phone, uh, specifically with this app, which no one seems to know online at the moment. I've been on various forums. Um, all of the text is in uh, purple or pink, um, and there's no way in the settings to change it to white, which it is in every other uh, version of the app that I've ever had. Um, I've only ever seen this on the Pixel, so I'm not sure why it's doing that, but uh, it's a little bit annoying, and um, I've resorted to using uh, a separate gallery app for that instead. The other thing, uh, when you get uh, messages from people, you get a number uh, next to the icon, the app icon, to say how many messages you haven't read yet. Pretty common, uh, most people have used it all the time. So for example, if you guys can have a look here um, under the WhatsApp icon, I've got uh, a two. So that shows me that I've got two uh, unread messages. I'll just zoom in a little bit there for you. There you go. So by default, uh, the Google Pixel actually doesn't um, have notification badges, whether that's a number or otherwise. Um, and I was quite surprised to find that out because when I was looking um, online for solutions on why the badges aren't working, I found out the Pixel just doesn't have that option. So even though this is the Pixel now, uh, I'm using Nova Launcher. Um, and there's an option in the Prime version of that to add notification badges. So I had to go all the way around just to, to get that added. Uh, and finally, um, the music player. Um, I had to download a, a third party music player um, for the Pixel. Um, when I closed the music player app, the music stops playing. Uh, on the Samsung S8, it didn't do that. Um, but equally, when the music is playing, uh, I don't get music controls on the lock screen either. Um, and I'm sure there's, there's ways around to get uh, a separate lock screen or some widgets or an app to do that. Um, but by default, it cannot do that, which the Samsung obviously can. Uh, and it's a bit of a shame uh, it's done that. But uh, unfortunately, those are uh, the, ways, the way things are at the moment. So um, I do miss those things. Um, and I have to give it to Samsung for allowing me to realize um, just how much I would actually miss it by upgrading to the Pixel uh, 2XL. Um, however, there are some things that better on the Pixel which I did upgrade for, including the camera, which includes the uh, portrait mode, uh, which I really like. Um, it has the squeeze feature um, to open up Google Assistant. Um, you have the Pixel Buds, um, which allows you to translate other languages by having the headphones in your ears. Um, one other thing I really like is the now playing feature on the lock screen, um, and that's quite useful. It appears there at the bottom. Um, and lastly, the uh, option to supply power from the Pixel to another device. So when you connect your uh, phone to a USB, you can either choose to charge the phone, uh, whether you're getting it from an outlet or, or a laptop or a computer. Uh, but likewise, you have the option to send power back from the Pixel to the other device. So you're, you're charging the other device as well. And that's a really cool feature as well. So. Okay, so that was a quick run through of um, all of the features that I miss from my S8 Plus. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below to see if I've missed anything out um, or if you still think uh, the Google Pixel 2 is far better than an S8 Plus. Overall, I think um, it's actually not worth upgrading. Um, there's just so many things the S8 Plus can do uh, which you get used to and it becomes sort of a lifestyle. Uh, that the Pixel 2 doesn't. So for the past few days, um, it's been a bit of a struggle to, to live without some of those features I've just shown you. Um, but overall, I am quite happy with the phone. Um, it is fast. I do have stock Android on there as well. Um, and the camera quality, I think is far better. Um, if you want to see a comparison, 
uh, of the uh, uh, videos, images and audio, uh, check out my previous video. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions uh, about any of the uh, features that I've mentioned um, or anything else with the phones, then do give a, leave a comment below um, and do subscribe. I've got some more videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing some more latest phones uh, and hopefully see you next time. Take care.